Good afternoon and welcome to our home. I'm Randy. I'm Jane. Today we're going to do a Dutch oven meatloaf and stove top stuffing. The ingredients for this is pretty simple. That we have stove top stove top stuffing, butter, warm water, two eggs, two pounds of hamburger. I'm going to mix it all up and get it all prepped and then put it in the uh, Dutch oven. And we're going to use briquettes to uh, heat it. It'll be just like an oven. We're going to do at 375 degrees. And the first ingredients would be our stove top. Just do one package or two. You're going to use that whole meat? It would be big. All right, we're going to mix our uh, stove top stuffing bread with uh, two eggs. Our butter, it's a uh, quarter cup of butter, and a uh, cup and a half of hot water. And we used a uh, half onion or whole onion? Probably a quarter of the onion. A quarter of an onion, white onion. It was really big. Then we're just going to let that mix up. really a simple meal and it should be a real good comfort type meal for a Sunday afternoon. Here, let me get that. Okay, it's just the plastic stuck to my finger. We're just going to use a uh, vegetable spray in the Dutch oven. All right, once you got the uh, meat and the stovetop stuffing all prepped, and we'll just set it in the uh, Dutch oven. There. Once you have it on the Dutch oven, you can put your uh, ketchup. If you want to mix it with anything, that's up to you. Now the uh, amount of coals that you want to use for the top or the bottom will depend on what you're cooking. If it's just all-purpose baking, uh, at 375, right, um, and the size of your oven that you're going to be using. This is the uh, list of everything right here, and we're going to be get, gathering up uh, 18 coals for the top nine on the bottom you want to use the circular pa pattern for the bottom and the checker pattern for the top all right gonna get the uh, coals all situated it's not a coal that I'll be using nine on the bottom 18 on top I'm using coals this time uh, last time we did the pizza we couldn't depend on the uh, wood that we're using just took too long so coals using coals will be consistent and the heat will be better
You broke on me. All right, 18 on top. Are you counting? Time you got? Okay. All right, let this cook up. Thirty minutes. We'll check it in about uh, 20. So you said it was 1220? All right, let's take a look see. And smell it. Yeah, it smells really good. Be a nice Sunday afternoon dinner. All right, giving it uh, 10 more minutes, had to add more coals. Uh, uh, the amount of meatloaf that we put in there, it's gonna take at least an hour. Yeah, we had to uh, cut it in half, put it on the pan to get it out of the Dutch oven, but. It looks delicious and it smells so good. Put a little more ketchup on it and then we're gonna take this into the house. We got baked potatoes baking and then we gotta get the uh, baked beans on the stove. And that'll only take a couple minutes. This really does look good. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Somebody else is a little. Come here. No grass on it. No grass. Not that type. All right, this is really, really damn good. I tell you, um, probably need to adjust the uh, amount of ingredients. Uh, less water. Another pack of uh, stove top. We only used one, and uh, less meat. Yeah, feed an army here, but uh, it is really, really good. Definitely going to have to redo this uh, so it uh, stays together more. But I give this five, five, five thumbs.